Hi guys, it's EMG the Craft NATO. How is everybody doing today? I am wonderful. And I am here today with a little unbagging. Um, this package today comes to us from a company called Colorful DIY. I was contacted by this company and asked if I would like to um, receive a couple of items to show for review on my channel. And I said, sure, and asked them, you know, just to pick out a couple items that they'd like to send me. And I would show you and um, let you know what I thought about them. So we, I did open it up because I needed to see who it was from. I wasn't sure um, what, this, what the order was or what the package was. So I did or open one of them just to see who it was from. But I just opened it like this, saw what it was, and I knew, and so... I didn't go any further than that, so I will be sharing my initial reaction with you. So, the first one that we have is, get this unrolled, it is poured glue, so it's okay to go ahead and roll this backwards to get the creases out of it um, for being rolled for shipment. And this is a, um, it's a stiffer canvas, which is fine. Um, you can pull the cover back and put it back down to help release some of those creases. I often just put this under something heavy, um, like a mattress or a pile of diamond paintings that you have in your stash. That works too. Um, if you do this for just a couple of days, it probably doesn't even take that long, but I just leave them for a couple of days and, um, and your creases will wear right out and you will be left with a nice flat diamond painting just the way you want it for drilling. You can also with these, um, it helps roll them the other way. Um, against, you know, instead of rolling them backwards, actually roll them this way like against the crease and that'll help have them lay flat as well. So this looks like it is a round drill canvas and it is, I'll show you the um, the schematic that's on there. It's a picture um, of a box of chocolates with a rose or roses. And you have a nice rose here in the background as well. So the symbols look really, really clear. It's a 30 by 40. There are 21 colors and we do have the two uh, keys on the top left and bottom right and there are DMC codes on the canvas. So that's good. Uh, this is a picture of what that diamond painting is gonna look like when it's finished. So this would be nice for Valentine's Day. Be a nice romantic looking diamond painting. Comes with just a standard toolkit with a green boat, a plate of wax, and a pink pen. So that's what we're used to seeing. Let's take a look at the drills. Now this does look like it's printed um, it's not, it's printed in, it does not have guide circles and it's printed in the way of um, where the picture is on there and the drills are superimposed onto the image itself. So with a round diamond painting that kind of usually lends itself to having a more crisp image or a more clear image when you're finished. See how the, the symbol kind of crosses the boundary of um, colors in some places. Like down here, you can actually see the line that goes through there. So that's gonna help define that. So that's good. Um, put it in the, I think someone told me, Rambling Rose calls it the new method. So I don't wanna be a copycat, but I guess if I'm giving her credit, I'm not really copying, right? So print it in the new, we'll call it the new method or the new way. Uh, so we've got some white, so that's going to be our primary background color, and some green. And we'll just take a look at the drill quality when we get into some of our other colors. Looking at the drills, they look very flat on the back. I don't see any, um, any cupping. I don't see any dust or debris in the drill packs. So the drills look really good. So we're going to have a lot of just different combinations of pink in this and having so many colors in a 30 by 40, 21 is a, a good amount of colors. So that's going to help really help uh, define the image. So we have a couple different colors of brown. Then we're back to more pink, light blush pink. 
more of a peachy pink, some gray, some beige, bubblegum pink, and some greens, a mauve, and more pink. So this is gonna be a very, very pink painting. Um, the flowers are gonna, it's gonna be a very good one for Valentine's Day. So that is the first image that they chose to send me. And we'll take a look and see what the second one looks like. I will be working up one of these kits. I'm not sure which one I'll do. Um, but I will be working up one of these kits just to kind of come back and give you a little uh, post review and let you know um, about the quality and um, the experience and what I thought of the kit after I've completed it. So let's set that one off to the side and let's get into the second one. Now this one feels pretty heavy, so I'm thinking it probably must be a bigger canvas. So let's get in there and see what we've got for our second image. Now I went ahead, after I was contacted by them, um, I went ahead and went on their site and I also placed an order that I paid for. So I'm going to go ahead and it, it happened to come either, it, hap it came while I was away. So um, it either came the same day or the day after. So we're going to go ahead and unbox and unbag that order as well in the same video since they all come from the same company. So let's uh, roll this one backwards. This is also poured glue, so that's good. I think everything on their site is poured glue. I, don't quote me on that, um, but I believe everything is poured glue. So this one came with two tool kits, just standard tool, kit, tool kits like the other one. And I'm gonna roll it backwards. It looks like it's like a thin, long guy. And this one is also a stiffer canvas. I know, I know a lot of people prefer a stiffer canvas. So let's see what we've got here. Ooh, it's really long. I wonder what the dimensions are on this. Holy bejeebers. Just keeps going and going and going. And I noticed um, on their site when I was placing my order, their prices are very reasonable. And these did ship um, pretty quickly. You know, they did come from overseas. So it was a pretty quick um, shipping experience. So that's good. Uh, this is the schematic of what this image is going to be. So it's just a stack of birdhouses with a whole bunch of birds. Isn't that cute? I really like that. I like that a lot. Even though this is a, the bigger of the two, I think that this one is probably the one that I will work on. But holy moly, look at how long it is. But it looks really good. I wonder, the dimensions are 30 by 90. Wow, so that is quite big. But wouldn't this look nice in a, at the end of a hallway or something? Yeah, I really like the way this looks. It's very nice. Now this one does have guide circles, so if you're someone who um, has a problem with that, um, it might give you a fuss, but I don't really care one way or the other. I don't, I'm, I'm not one who is very judgmental about guide circles. Um, they're there or they're not. I could take them or leave them. And it really looks like it's just around the very light backgrounded areas. You don't see it much in the dark backgrounded areas. And this one is again also printed in the same method. You can see like that line there um, that's outlining the, the border of that birdhouse. So that's gonna be visible like between your drills. So it's really gonna help to differentiate that line. Um, but the symbols look very clear. The drill field is very clear. I don't think there's going to be a problem reading any of those symbols at all. And this one is also a round drill kit. And this one has 23 colors. And we do have DMC codes on the canvas. And we do have a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols for the key. I really like this one. I like it a lot, it's very cute. So let's take a look at these drills. Yeah, this is one I definitely would have picked out for myself. It's really cute. All kinds of different birds in there. And all kinds of different colors. So this is gonna have all the colors in the rainbow, I think. So we've got 
three big packs of white. Some either 3860 or 3861. And these drills also look really good. Yep, nice flat backs. They don't look dimpled or anything. You've got yellow and teal. Then we've got nice deep cranberry burgundy color. Blue, pink, some black, gray, magenta, some light brown, some lavender, red, green, orange, yellow, some real nice light blues, a darker blue, some dark green, a dark pink, a darker brown, a dark pink, and a really dark green. So this is going to be really pretty. I am, I, I'm excited about this one. I really like the way it looks. I think that it is going to come out really nicely. So I'll probably go ahead and put this under something flat, like my son's mattress, um, and just get the creases out and get it so it's lying nice and flat. And then this will probably, probably be the one that I work up. I might actually choose one of the ones that came with the order that I received. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll decide when we see it, when we see the rest of them. Then we'll make a decision. We're going to make the decision together. Yeah, right, not really. I'll decide, but <laughs> I'll let you think you're helping me make the decision. Or you could comment and let me know what one. That's a good idea. Why don't you guys comment and let me know which one um, of these that you would like to see me work up. And... Um, because I don't really have a preference. I like everything, so yeah. If you'd like to see one of these um, that I'm opening up, if you'd like to see one completed, why don't you just leave a note in the comments and I will see what the popular vote is and that's the one I'll work on. I'm just gonna set these down to the side here, get them out of the way. So we can open up the ones. Now this, the ones that are in this order um, is the order that I placed. So the first thing I ordered was, yes, I got another cross stitch kit. I know I told you guys that I wasn't gonna order any more cross stitch kits, but I ran across this image and I absolutely loved it. Very, very cute. Um, reminds me of my daughters. And so I decided that I should have it. <laughs> it is a 14 count. It is a stamped cross stitch kit by Joy Sunday, which I do love that brand. Um, it's 41 by 35 centimeters. So I'm not sure how many, what the stitch count is, is there. Um, but we'll just take it out of here and take a look at the canvas. And we have all of our flosses. Holy floss. There are a lot of colors, you guys. Wow. This is going to be a confetti, either heaven or nightmare, depending on how you feel about it. But there are 59 colors. And look at those beautiful floss colors. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Those are going to be, that's going to be really pretty. This is going to be a labor of love, though, because that's a lot of different, of color changes. So you really can't, it's difficult to even make out the image on here. Um, in fact, you can't at all because the colors that are on the canvas are just the code for the color of floss that you're going to use. So really, it, it doesn't do me much good to show you the canvas because you can't really tell what it's going to be. But trust me, um, trust me when I say once you put the floss on there in the uh, correct color code that it's supposed to be you'll definitely be able to make out that image of that of those two girls and with having that many colors um, it's definitely going to that's definitely going to come out nicely so that is it's called girls two um, cross count or not count across stamped cross stitch and I just really liked it very pretty so and I really like the brand Joy Sunday. I also ordered some stickers. I got some more of these uh, stickers for my granddaughter. These are the ones that have the larger, this, here I'll just open it up and we'll take a look at them. These have the larger drills. 
which are easier for my granddaughter to work with. See, they're the, um, they're bigger than normal drills. And she has a great time with these stickers. She's got a collection. So this does come with a standard toolkit, just like any diamond painting would. And it is just two sheets of these adorable candy and ice cream and cake stickers. And they're kind of holographic. So very cute. That will be fun for her to work on when she comes over. We were getting low on our sticker stash, so we had to get some more. All right, let's see what else we've got. We've got one more non-diamond painting thing. I had to do this. I just had to. I loved it when I saw it. I oh, I did unbox another um, one of, that's similar to this um, a little while ago from a different company, but I really liked this one. It's one of those plastic mesh um, cross-stitch tapestry type things, and it's a tissue box dispenser, a tissue box holder. Um, but isn't that one cute? I really liked that one. I like that, I think, a little bit more than the other one that I got. The other one I got was like a kind of an ugly color purple. Um, I was going to change out the yarn in it. But this comes with everything you need to build this tissue box holder. And it comes with all of your yarn. And it comes with a needle, a big tapestry needle. So that's nice. And then this is your base and the rest of your pieces are pre-scored, so all you have to do is cut them out and uh, stitch them and assemble them. So I think this is one I'm going to work on because I want to try one of these. I had I remember doing things like this when I was a kid with this plastic mesh grid, um, and I really enjoyed it when I was a kid, and I want to try it again. So this might be this will probably be the one that I'll do. First. So keep an eye out for that. I uh, will probably just show you guys in a whip and chat. Um, you know, I like to, when I'm doing my whip and chats, I like to show you guys the progress that I'm making on all my different projects. So I will probably share this with you, the pro progress on it. I'll probably share it in a whip and chat once I get working on it. Because I need another project to do, right? Right. I started another miniature. I, yeah. All right, let's see what else we've got. I don't even remember, to be honest with you, what else I I knew I ordered those two things. I don't remember what else I got, or those three things. Don't remember what else I got. So let's check it out. Okay, this is a partial. Oh, my clock. Yes, that's right. So this is a clock and it's a special drill partial and I love it I don't know I am gonna have Jeff whip something up to use as a strong uh, probably a piece of wood and once this gets flattened out I'm gonna have to put this under a mattress to get it flat which is fine um, but once it's flattened and I drill it I'm probably gonna have him put it on a piece of wood to keep it, you know, firm and and taut. Um, but it does, it comes with the hands and the clock mechanism, and it looks like a pretty decent, um, it looks like a pretty decent set. It comes in this nice plastic container, so it didn't get damaged at all. I've ordered a couple other diamond painting clocks, and I've been really disappointed with the quality as far as what you get for your mechanism and your needle, your you know pointer, your hands, the, the clock hands. But this actually looks really good. Um, it comes well protected in this plastic, and the hands actually look really good. It looks like they actually gave you two of each. So you've got extra hands just in case one is bent or you happen to break one. Um, so that's really nice that they give you extra and it's in this protective case so it will stay, in this case will be nice to use for something else, to store stuff in after you're finished with it. So the toolkit that you get with this does come with a pair of tweezers um, because it's a special drill. 
And let's take a look at the drills that come with it. There are 12 different kinds of drills that are going to go on here. And, ooh, we have little slivers. So we have clear little teardrop slivers, gold little teardrop slivers. We've got white pearlescent rounds. And then we have some bigger blue crystals. Then we come to our regular crystals. We have clear, yellow, blue, couple bags of gold, green, pink, black, and uh, royal blue. So that's gonna look really pretty. I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna get this flattening as soon as possible because I want to do this one. I wanna work that up pretty quickly. So I'll get that flattening right away. All right, let's see what else we got. This, <laughs> I already know, is because I can tell by the way it feels now that I recognize how that one felt. I ordered two clocks. Yes, I know, how many clocks does a person need? I ordered two clocks. I liked both of them. I couldn't make up my mind between the two. They were very reasonably priced. Um, I will put the links in the description for all of these products. And let's take a look at the second one. I don't know. I'm not sure which one I like better. Not sure which one I like better. So this is the second clock. I might like this one better, actually. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, it sits like this. It sits, duh, because there's a 12 at the top. I do like this one better. Yeah, I like this one a lot. That's very cool. So this one only has nine different types of drills. Let me just fold this backwards so I can try to get it to lay flat for you while we look at the drills. Dun, 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 dun. Now I get it the right way. Okay. Uh, same toolkit with the uh, plastic tweezers and the same clock mechanism kit with two of each type of hand in case you break or lose one of your hands. Let's take a look at these drills. You guys saw I'm kind of tired today. Just a little bit on the sleepy side. Um, still, I'm recording this on the day that I got home from the crafting retreat. So I'm a little just, we, we stayed up late. We, we didn't get up too early, but we got up, you know, early-ish. Just so much crafting and so much fun. Ooh, look at those. Those are gorgeous. Look at those special drills. Those are very pretty. Then we have some gold slivers, uh, teardrop shape, some white pearl, some larger yellow crystals, larger blue crystals. Then we have normal shape sized uh, clear crystals, yellow, red, and pink. So yeah, I think I really like this one. This one's gonna be really pretty. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. So I will get those flattening out and I will work one of those up right away and I will share that with you in an upcoming video um, and let you see how it turned out. And I'll just let you know what Jeff and I decide to do as far as um, mounting it on something. Um, we'll try to do, I'll, I'll try to get him to do something that's not very, um, something that everybody can do. Kind of, you know, kind of DIY friendly. So, yeah, I will let you know once, uh, once we have our confab and we come up with a, come up with an idea, I will show you guys what we come up with. And maybe it's something that you'd be able to do at home as well. You know, you could just hang it on the wall just like that. There's nothing say, well, but you got that mechanism off the back. So you almost kind of have to have something, don't you? Hmm. I'll let you know what we come up with. If you guys have any great ideas, um, I'd be more than happy to hear those. So let me know if you have any ideas. But let's get into our next canvas. And this one is a softer canvas. And... Um, it does just have a couple little creases in it. 
but these are going to settle out just fine once they're under something heavy for a while. But this is a stained glass looking tree. It's a 30 by 30 and um, it's just a multicolored stained, looks like stained glass tree. It has 22 colors and the key is only letters, which is nice for me. And it is printed in the new way, uh, so that will give it a more clear image when you're finished, which will be good because it is only a 30 by 30. It comes just with a standard toolkit, and it comes in, the drills come in pre-baggied. So we've already got our drills in baggies, so you don't even have to worry about kitting up. And the baggies have both the number on the canvas, you know, like one through 22. They also have the DMC code on the drill package. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't even need to kit, kit this up at all. Um, I'm not gonna take the drills out of there because we can see each and every color right through the bag because they put them in there so magnificently. So look at the brightness of those colors, the orange, the pink, the blues, dark blues, mustard, a few different colors, green, beige, dark blue, more pink, salmon pink, and brown. So this is just a nice, um, it, it, it's, it's gonna look really nice, I think. I really like that one. That's gonna be very cute. This might be the one that I work up right away, actually, for a review for this company. So we're gonna leave that one out. And we'll move on to the last one, which I think is going to be a partial because it feels pretty light. So let's get into this and see what we've got. It is a partial, it's a special drill, and I was really excited about this one. So it does just come with a standard toolkit. And I'm just gonna roll it this way real quick to get the creases out of it, or attempt to get the creases out of it, just to get it to lie flat enough so that we can see it. And isn't that pretty? It reminds me of an embroidery kit for some reason. It just looks like something that would be, you know, like on an embroidery. And I really like that it is this special shape. The part that you drill is this kind of scalloped shape, but they have the background is, is really nice. It's, it has a nice um, calm background, if you will. And these drills also come pre-bagged. So let's take a look at them. There are only five different drill types in this, but I think that that's actually going to be for the best because I think that the simpler you keep this image, the better. I think that's just the style that it's supposed to be. I really like this. I love the colors. So the majority of it is you have a ton of these teardrop shaped uh, faceted iridescent drills and that's going to be all of these flower petals are going to be that that's going to be beautiful and then you have these white pearl pearl not white iridescent coated but they're round they're not normal faceted drills they're they're rounded drills and then you have red green and blue crystals and that is all that's going to be on this. And I think that's going to look beautiful. I think that's gonna be really, really nice. I like that one a lot. So that is what I received from Colorful DIY. I will put the links to all of these diamond paintings in the description. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. I will get back with you um, as soon as I work one of these up and let you know what I thought about my experience. In the meantime, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. All right, I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.